So we'll connect the vacuum to the butt router. Uh, we're going to use the vacuum adapter. It's adapted from 2 inch to 4 inch and it mounts on the center of the tool tray. There's two holes here. There's 5 16 button head bolts with nuts and lock washers. So we use a half inch end wrench and a 3 16 Allen wrench. So we'll connect one end of the two inch hose with a hose clamp to the butt router fitting. We're going to connect the vacuum hose and the hose loom to the fitting on the chain using a couple of the wire ties provided. So we can do the same at the back of the machine. Connect that to the vacuum adapter with another hose clamp. Make sure you have enough hose to get out to the extremes. We'll connect a piece of 4 inch hose to the bottom of the fitting with a hose clamp. So we'll connect the other end of the hose to the vacuum unit. Now I've connected two more 4 inch hoses to go to the bottom of the machine. One will go to the cutter head end and one to the drill section end. The hose for the drill section end will connect to this fitting here. So we've connected the hose to the drill section end. So we'll connect the vacuum hose to the cutter head end right here by the cutter head motor. 